Hey guys, Kajra here and welcome back to another review. Now today's review is a little bit different um, because if you were one of the people on my live stream you would have seen I brought this custom Apple car on uh, and Dynaco Ronnie I think 21 suggested it. Let me have a quick look. Let me have a quick look here. It was... Yep, Dynaco Ronnie um, 21 he requested the custom Apple car here because all of you guys probably know that the Apple car is extremely rare to get. So this is a custom that I've made for me a couple of years ago. It's not the best one obviously. It's not like the level you see of where they have all the proper decals and everything. No, I've got a couple errors here where the mouth is red where it should really be white. But I thought I would review this as um, people thought it looked really good on the uh, stream and Danica Running then suggested it. So I thought I'd do this review. And don't worry about the um, Heavy Metal Mate and Lightning McQueen, I just need to sort of, I didn't really have that to hand so I need to just find it um, in my boxes of my cars and then I will review that. But I had the custom Apple car to hand so I just thought I'd use, I would just use this one, well I'd just do this review now because it'd be quicker and I thought you guys might like to see this anyway. Um, and now as for the Apple car's appearance, he appeared in the Motor Speedway of the South and the only way you could get him was in the Motor Speedway of the South set and that was for, I think, custom, no not custom, that was for the special uh, red line club sort of collector kind of thing. So not hardly any people actually got the set, it's in like, a little cars museum bit. But it was a really rare set and this was obviously the exclusive car in it. Some people might think, well some people think that um, the reason the car was sort of never made is because they kind of lost the rights to Apple. But that's kind of been debunked in Cars 3 because there's next gen and the 2017 stock car of Apple car. So they didn't even lose the rights to Apple. I just, it was just really weird the way they released it. Or maybe Apple said they could only make a few, like maybe I think it was like 3,000 or something like that. Maybe even less, I'm not even too sure, but very rare. And if you try and get them off of like eBay and stuff like that, which I did try, um, I did, <laughs> I did fail because I uh, sort of it said that there was the Apple car and I ended up getting Fabrizio. But um, if you were on my stream, I said at the time it was um, that Fabrizio was quite rare and it was like twenty uh, twenty pounds I think. So that wasn't a bad deal and we got our money back. So we got a free car, which wasn't that bad. But I still would have rathered Apple. Um, the Apple car, but um, yeah, that's the only p appearance he has in the movie in the most of the South. Um, it's a pretty small appearance, um, like all of the, the piston cut racers, really. They all had very minor appearances, but Apple car, especially, he only had like two little bits. I think where his king was passing him and where he was in the pits. There is also um, no crew for him either, no crew chief, no pity, no hauler, nothing like that. There have been custom ones made as well, but they are not the real ones, obviously, because they were never made. Like quite a few um, of the Piston Cup races, teams were never made, but I guess Mattel obviously f uh, sort of thought that they wouldn't make enough money on them and there was no point, they'd be losing out on money, so I guess they didn't release them. Maybe in the future we'll get some more teams, maybe like 2020 or something like that, or 2019, something when Cars 3 has died down and it's they go back to doing like Cars 1 and Cars 2 cars as well like we have seen recently um, so they'll probably um, maybe you never know they may make some more of the crews and also just a sort of word of warning to you guys if you ever see the Apple car on eBay unless it's like a proper trusted seller you know it is mostly probably 90 probably 96 percent of the time maybe even higher the car is going to be fake it, either it's not going to come in a good condition or it, obviously it won't be the real one most likely there's probably a pretty much 99% chance it's not going to be a real Apple car, it'll be a custom. But that's the best case scenario, you get a custom one that looks good, otherwise you'll probably just get sent another car, or maybe you won't even get sent one um, at all. Um, but I got did get sent a car, I would have, like I said, liked the Apple car, but that's just how rare it is. Um, it was, I think I put it was like £20 as well, so for one car, so it was quite a lot but I would not never try and buy it again. Uh, it'd be cool if they re-release this car, but I'm not sure if they ever will. Probably not. Um, but anyway, that's enough sort of talking about the background of the Apple car. Um, the reason I made this is because it was, it used to be a nitrate, as you can tell. And a very old nitrate, as you can tell, that this isn't really white anymore. Um, but yeah, you can definitely tell it's nitrate. And the reason because is because the light year, there was no light year on the tire, on that one tire, so I obviously got a, I bought a new one, which was this one, so this is like 2007 or something, 
and then I made this we had this one was sort of gone to waste kind of thing. So I made uh, my dad made this into the apple car. Now like I said it's not perfect, like you can still see the black line there and obviously the lights aren't the, obviously the proper proper ones and the mouth is red. That's the worst thing. Like if you cover up that it looks pretty good. So we just sort of paint over the red and maybe I'll do an updated look maybe in the future. Um, also the 84 is probably meant to be there but still it doesn't matter but anyway let's get on to the actual review um, like I said at the front we have his two lights here which would usually have the 84 on there the number 84 is a reference to the, the year of the Ma first Macintosh computer it came out in 1984 and you guys probably noticed that in Cars 1 Rev no, Revolting was 84 and that's actually incorrect it's obviously they done that wrong because there was two number 84, so in cars really they've changed it to 48, which is a lot better. Uh, we, we have his hood uh, hood pins here, like all the other um, like all the other um, piston cup racers. How I completely my mind went blank then. We have his, the Apple logo as well, very nice on there. Nice sort of plain, simple grey, which is very cool. Uh, for his eyes, he's got his normal angry expression. Just you have to just try and forget that <laughs> that's black there. Um, so that's pretty cool. We have his white rims there as well. They're also really really nice. And the light year tires. The number eighty four um, on their side. We should have the contingency sponsors, but they're all in grey as well. We have a side exhaust there. And as we go onto the side, we have, you can see where a fuel cap would be. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and we have the tyres again. And as we go up to the top here, we have the number 84 again with his roof flaps. And he also have the white roof slats as well, unlike Nitroid where they're black. We have the Apple logo there with the spoiler pins, a couple chips to it. And the back is pretty plain. It should have like the Apple logo, but that's quite hard to do in that little tiny bit. As we go around the side, the same thing with the number 84. We have his uh, tyres, obviously the one with the error, and we have his exhausts. Um, if you want to see the base as well, it's just a simple, obviously the rivets are gone and filled in with glue. And we have Disney Pixar. See, this literally all it had was Taiwan. So this is a 2006 die cast right here, because it's made in Taiwan. There are all the engine parts there as well. And the exhausts come out from the bottom there. So I do like this um, custom Apple car, it's definitely a good substitute if I can not hit the camera um, for having the real one because it just sits in my cab uh, cabinet so you can't really tell too too much really. I mean it would have been cool if it had the contingency sponsors and the red but that can be easily fixed. Um, but yeah it's a really cool custom, I do like it a lot. Um, I don't know if you heard of a guy called Jim's, Jim's Scaven Scavener I think. That's where, uh, he, that's where Arctic Cars 5 got his custom of the next gen Apple car from. Uh, I, I have him on Instagram. Um, so I'm, I'm sure he's probably made an Apple car from 2006 before. But um, I think it's just a matter of getting the decals, to be honest, to be able to do it. But like I said, this is just painted on. Um, so tell me what you think of this custom down in the comments below, guys. I'd like to hear. And um, thank you for the um, recent um, support on my live stream as well. That's greatly appreciated, guys. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this review. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on my post notification bell so you never miss another review. And as always, I'll see you in the next review, guys.